I'm Ellis Martin and I play hooker. Um, so my journey into the Scotland team wasn't, I mean, I'd maybe say it's quite unique. Um, so I got invited in a long time ago when I was much younger and then unfortunately I tore my ACL and I was out for a really long time um, and when I got invited in the first time it was kind of like one or two training sessions as a bit of like a extra person coming in but then last summer I got invited in for the like block before we went to the World Cup um, and that August I got my first cap which was like amazing and um, it was kind of crazy so the hooker that was meant to be playing got sick um, the day of the game so I got a phone call from Ellen in the morning um, and that was yeah my first cap which was wild um, and then managed to get to the World Cup which was unbelievable and then yeah since then I've been sort of in and around the squad um, and then sort of managed to come into my position a bit more uh, in this tournament where I've got like cap two to four. So a few things probably, so like cat one obviously was like I didn't get any of the build up or anything like that um, I came in on the day so I think for me the learnings from then to now is like how to prep yourself in the week and how to prep yourself on the day and like I know for my second cat because that was the first time I'd had the build up on the actual day I was terrified, I couldn't eat, I barely slept, um, I was just really really nervous and then actually weirdly cat three and four I've been really calm I think it's just learning how everyone else deals with it and you know getting a bit more comfortable so I've definitely learned how to handle my nerves which is good um, and yeah I've just like learned a lot more about my team as well um, I think last week I came on a lot earlier than I usually would unfortunately there was a HIA but it gave me a different perspective again and um, so yeah each time you just kind of learn something new and then eventually hopefully have a full arsenal of understanding of like what you're doing so it's pretty cool. This experience has been really different um, and I spoke to the girls on one of the nights about like we have probably the most competition for places that we've ever had and yet everyone is still really thankful when other people succeed and they're really excited to see other people succeed and I think that team first attitude has really like it's changed the way that camp feels for a lot of people and um, yes yeah, it's, it's just a really special team and the culture is really like it's just really good right now and um, everyone feels really comfortable talking to each other and yeah it's, it's a really great place to be. don't know what the word to describe it is like almost like the gratitude that we have for each other like um the things that people do to make sure that everyone's comfortable um like Corinne told a great story about how she scored a try and Rachel Malcolm immediately came up to her and was like your mum's here to watch this your mum's here because she remembered how important that was to her like everyone just thinks of one another before they think of themselves like in that moment it would be very easy just to be like woo next job like move on but like she savored that moment for someone and that was like really special and I think like I wasn't surprised by that story because that's something that kind of happens all the time like everyone's always looking after one another and putting each other first and like that's so player led um, and then it feeds out into the rest like the way we present ourselves we've had a lot of outside people who have met us be like wow I was kind of waiting for the masks to come off but like it just doesn't really exist like it's it's all very real and like very nice and very kind and like it's really cool. Um, yeah, like having Lana to look up to is like amazing for me. I think when I was sort of 16, 17, um, coming into rugby and wanting to take it a bit more seriously, she was the starring hooker for Scotland. Um, and now, like, I get to sit on the bench and watch her play in front of me, knowing that, like, at one point, you know, she's going to come off and tap my hand. And, like, that's like, I can't really explain how fulfilling that is and how unbelievable that is for me. Like, um, she's also like a really good mentor. She will always answer my questions if I've got them and I always have a lot of questions. Um, and even things like socially, like after a game or things like that, she'll always make sure she comes up to me. She's like, how do you feel, pal? Like, how do you get on? Like, do you want to set any more goals? Do you want to do this, do you want to do that? And like, that sort of thing is so great for like grounding me and like cementing those performance behaviours, um, which like, she's obviously got, like she has 60, something caps a lot of caps and um, so like just having someone there as that mentor and like 
someone who can guide you is just really good um, and we have a really good relationship about like I know we're competing for the same space but I think we're both well aware of where we are and like what we can do for each other and um, if I perform well she performs well so yeah we're really like she's a great person to learn from.